find the three digit positive integer ABC whose representation in base nine is BCA base nine where A, B and C are not necessarily distinct digits. Okay, so we are looking at this problem. We see that we have a three digit positive integer ABC. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and write this in algebraic form, meaning 100A plus 10B plus C. This will make it easier for us to see what we're doing. Remember, if A, B, and C are digits, then the three digit number ABC is 100 times A plus 10B times C, like 432 is equal to four times 100 plus three times 10 plus two. Um, that's why I'm able to write it out like this. And we know that the base nine representation is BCA, BCA base nine. What does that mean? It means that you have, well, you have um, 81B plus nine C plus A. That's what it means in base nine. This B is multiplied by nine squared. This C is multiplied by nine. And this A is multiplied by one or nine to the zero. So you really have 100A plus 10B plus C is equal to 81B plus 9C plus A. Let's go ahead and move everything over to one side. You have um, 100A minus A, that's 99A minus 71B, that's 10B minus 81B minus 8C is equal to zero. And you just want to find a solution um, with A, B, and C, they're single digits. And none of them is nine because um, nine isn't a digit in base nine. So how, how, how are we going to solve this first of all? Well, one, one, one thing you could do is you could just, just when, when you have a Diophantine equation like this is just, why don't, we, why don't we try some values of A because 99 is a pretty big coefficient. So let's try some values of A and see what we get. Like, for example, let's say we plug in A equals one. This is experimental. A might not be one at all, but we can try A equals one and then maybe try A equals two or three. If this doesn't work, you get 99 times one minus 71 B minus eight C is equal to zero. So 99 is equal to 71 B plus eight C. And how are you solving this? Well, Think about it, since B and C have to be non-negative at least, maybe even positive, um, B and C, um, this, this sum, like bo both, both this term and this term have to be less than 99 because neither of them is gonna be negative. So your only options for B are B equals zero or B equals one because if for anything higher, 71 B is gonna be greater than 99, which can't really happen. So what that means is you have, well, um, if, if B equals zero, then you'd have 99 is equal to zero plus eight C. Doesn't give you any integer solutions for C. If you have B is equal to one, 99 is equal to 71 plus eight C. You have 28 is equal to eight C if you just rearrange. C is not gonna be a in positive integer here. C is gonna be something like 3.5. So um, neither of those cases work, which means that you can safely discard a equals one, but that kind of gives us some ground of what we're doing because, well, why don't, why don't we try A equals two? Maybe we'll get a little bit luckier here. So A equals two, you have 99 times two, 198 minus 71 B minus eight C is equal to zero. Well, same argument holds as before, both 71 B and eight C will be less than 198 because neither of them can be negative. 198 is 71B plus 8C. And what we can do is we can once again try out B is equal to zero, one, and two. If B equals to zero, you must have 198 is equal to 71 times zero plus 8C gives us a solution of C is um, a decimal 24.75. That's not an integer, nor is that one digit. So you can discard B equals zero. What happens if B equals one? 198 is equal to 71 plus eight C. This doesn't work either. You're gonna get a very wonky answer for C. Something like C is 127 over eight. Um, that's not gonna help you. Um, 
So you can disregard you can disregard the one. What happens if B equals two? You have 198 is equal to 71 times two, 142 plus 8C. Rearrange, you get 56 is equal to 8C. So C is equal to seven. And you see right here that you, you've just found a solution. A is equal to two, B is equal to two, C is equal to seven. So your answer is the three digit positive integer 227. Um, that is our final answer. So we are done. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.